In this video, we're going to tackle the payroll settings. And payroll settings are what's going to allow you to set up your company's overtime rules and also configure your default payroll codes. And we'll explain what both of those are in this video. So let's dive into the settings screen. To get there, you're going to go under element time up at the top to settings and then on the left to payroll. First question is going to be, do you pay overtime? So if it's no, it's no. Chances are it's yes, and you're going to set that up. And now you'd configure your payroll rules. So are salaried workers paid overtime? Do you pay daily overtime? Some states, sure enough, have a rule that after a certain number of hours per day, it kicks into overtime. Some even have a rule where after a certain number of hours per day, you have to pay double time. So you can set that up as well. Most states don't, though, or most provinces don't. It's just weekly. So here I might set up my weekly overtime and then after how many hours a week. Seventh day is for those states and provinces that do have rules where after seven consecutive days, you have to pay double time on that. So that's set up there. All these options are explained by hovering over the what's this button. So if you are confused by one of these options, just hover over here and we'll give you a description. Once you have your overtime rules set up, you're going to want to set up your default payroll codes. Now, if you're not exporting element time records to payroll software, it's not overly important that you set these up. However, if you're setting your uh, element time up to sync with QuickBooks, you're going to absolutely want to set these up. Now, these are explained in more detail in the payroll codes video. So we're not gonna go into that here, but what this basically sets up is for hourly wages, what's the payroll code in QuickBooks we're gonna use when we pay our employee hourly wages? And what's the payroll code in QuickBooks that we're gonna use when we pay overtime wages? And for salaried staff, same thing, what are we gonna use when we pay salary wages? Now you're gonna set these up in the next section here called payroll codes. There's a whole video on that. So for more information on this section, how to set this up and what it does, check out the payroll codes video. But if you had any questions with setting up your overtime rules, hit us up on live chat, use advice at goelement.com or reach out to us on the help site at goelement.com help, do a search and see if you can't find that help for yourself.